Adventures. Whatever meaning the word has to you, whether you're a gearhead, adventurer, or someone who enjoys the freedom that comes with being able to drive whenever, wherever, and with whoever, I think we all have some shared connection to these chunks of metal, glass, and rubber. They are an integral part of society, a gear in the modern age we've come to know, a gear that is, however, contributing to destroying the very thing its, host, its roads are hosted on, the planet itself. Light-duty vehicles contribute 11% of the total greenhouse gas emissions within the United States. More greenhouse gases equals a higher global warming effect, faster melting caps, and more common forest fires. We can make gasoline cars more eco-friendly by incorporating them within a system we already know. Electric. Electric cars are the only plausible way to reduce the emissions of vehicles before global warming becomes irreversible. Electric cars are cheaper to refuel, maintain, and have better miles per gallon. One way to create more efficient vehicles is by introducing them to a system already used, the electrical grid. The electrical grid can be further optimized by improving where it sources its energy, such as wind farms that harness the wind coming out of mountains and across the ocean, as well as hydroelectrical dams, which harness the falling energy of the water as it passes through the dam. After the power infrastructure has been optimized, Production and manufacturing of batteries must also be optimized. And they're pretty fast too. Massive test the Should you say goodbye to your gas car forever? If electrical cars are the best thing for the environment and should be in everyone's hands, what's stopping them from being globally amassed? A few things. Electrical vehicles first must become a lot more efficient in production and cheaper to sell. Distribution of electricity must also be tackled. This allows people to charge their vehicles from their own home reliably. This comes in the form of new transmitters and possibly new infrastructure where it could be lacking. The hardest thing? would be convincing the general public. Sure? Yeah. Oh my f***ing God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Should we try it in the mirror? Sorry? Yeah. Sure. Oh man, it didn't go through. And the question you might be wondering, are they still possible? The love he brings to me Where do I start? Like the summer rain that Porsche is setting out to find that exact answer. They recently, over the summer, invested $75 million into the biofuel company they're working with to develop emission-efficient fuel for any gas car. Porsche's motive for this is they plan on selling their gas cars alongside their future electric lineup. This gives hope for a future where gas cars are not entirely eliminated. They still coexist with electric cars. Or if worse comes to worse, they exist on the racetrack. <laughs>